How's it going everybody? I'm Driftwood. This is Tutorial Tuesday. Welcome back. We're going to do a Let's Make a Monster episode. So if you're tired of all of your enemies saying attack, 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 you might want to watch some of these Let's Make a Monster episodes where we take a creature, we, we pick a, a graphic, and we come up with some ideas and some custom skills. We completely delete and remove the basic attack so that they don't do that. We create some custom animations really quickly and in a hurry and uh, basically try to make a cool looking creature with some unique abilities and traits and stuff. So as far as the parameters are concerned, they'll be different for your game if you're using Yanfly's uh, Enemy Levels plugin, or depending on how many uh, parameters you're giving your actors, this will be different for you. So you can see the ones I'm using, but they're most likely gonna need to be changed to fit in your game for the level of, you know, that you have it. As, as well as how much it takes to level up, so you'll get more experience if you need more experience to level up. Um, and the difficulty of the monster or whatever, but this is the numbers that I've gone with but the, you know Like I said, you're probably gonna change the numbers up But we're gonna come up with some ideas and create some skills for this guy Maybe some drop items and stuff. So right off the bat. We've got our creature. I'm picking an Akashic's battler um, And I've got his stats set up now. We need to go and set up some of his skills So I want to give this guy at least three four skills. We're gonna give him four skills so I went over here to my enemy skills section and we're going to add some new skills. So I want to give him a melee attack that does like a debuff. I want to give him uh, like a ranged attack that does like a damage over time. And I want to give him like uh, a, a magic AoE, like ability that's rare, and as well as a physical AoE that's a little more common but not as strong. So four abilities. Um, let's do the melee attack first. So let's go with uh, Crystal Fist. So we'll find an icon for a skill called Crystal Fist. It's basically when he smashes you with his gigantic crystalline glacier looking hand. And we'll just find a quick icon for that. That kind of looks like a, a potion. But uh, I'm not too concerned about it. Because if, uh, if it becomes an eyesore, I'll always change it later. Um, so we'll go ahead and just go like this. Cool. And we'll say, uh, we actually don't need a description because the player's not going to get the skill. I might add descriptions when I give the Blue Mage certain skills, if I give them all of these skills or whatever. But for now, uh, it doesn't need to be uh, given a skill. I'm just going to give it a skill type of enemy skill. And I'm going to say this is going to be your one enemy target, occasion battle screen only. This is going to be his basic attack, so we're not going to cost any resources for that. In fact, we're going to have him gain 10 TP for using this skill. It's not a certain hit. It's going to be a physical attack. We'll say it uses. Uh, we're going to make this HP damage. We're going to say physical to start with, but we're also going to use Yanfly's uh, element core. Multiple elements. And we want to give this, let's see, crystal they'd probably be like a blunt because he's a big creature, but also piercing because they could be jagged or whatever. So let's get, add blunt and piercing, like, a, like a, a morning star or something type kind of attack. So blunt and piercing, that, that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 16. So we're going to add 15 and 16 in here, boom, boom, and I'll double check these later on. But basically, we're going to make this a physical, blunt, and piercing attack that does physical damage. So we're going to say, yes, it can create regular variants. Uh, we probably want to give it a nice BP attack. So we're going to say A.ATK times 4 plus A.Defense. So we're going to factor in his defense into it because this is how big and, and bulky his hands are. It's blunt, so he's cr crashing into you. Uh, so it, if he's got more you know, deep, uh, beefiness, uh, more, we're going to give him some uh, attack bonus or, or some damage bonus for his defense as well, but mainly it's based on his attack. So that's the, the formula for that. Simple, now we need to give an animation. So let's jump over to animations super fast. Let's pick a random one, like just something random. Um, boom, cool. That looks sort of uh, closer to like a default attack move, but we're going to switch that up. So let's go ahead and paste this little pattern in here. Let's change the image on it. Um, so let's give it like something else like that maybe. Or you know what, since it's like a blue type of creature, we could go with something like this. Boom. Does that actually play? Boom. Boom. 
So frame one, nothing, two, three. So on frame three. So let's just delete. Uh, well, there's still a pattern on it, isn't there? Um, boom, boom. That looks kind of cool. But you know what? Let's try another one. Let's try another one. Let's see what this one does. Boom. 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 Cool. We'll delete the first two frames. So delete that frame, delete that frame so it just starts off. Boom. Short animation. And we'll add some sound effects to it. I actually have to restart MV because my sound effects are bugging out again. I don't know why. Like if the program's open too long, it does that. It stops playing the sound. That's a little frustrating. And I'm going to need those sound effects. So we'll save our project. We're going to close it. We're going to actually open it up again. <clears throat> Should only take a second. That way we'll be able to hear our sound effects when we're making our sound effects. So that's a quick fix for you if that, if that happens to you. Uh, and you see that, uh, you, you know, it's not adding any sound effects or whatever. Boom. Or maybe I, I muted it. Playback devices. There we go. It's probably plenty loud. So we don't need this wind sound effect. Let's We want something like just more impactful like Let's go like an earth or fire. Oh, that's actually pretty close to what I'm thinking about. And then what is this one? More like an ice shattery type of type of sound. Let's go with that. The fire is too long. Let's increase its pitch. It'll play faster. Almost. Let's go ahead and do that one last time. Small process of... I like it. Perfect. Okay, do we need these flashes right here? Let's see. Target. Flash that color. Let's make him flash a little bit more of a... Like, that color. And then, as well on this, bring the red out of it and bring the green down. Cool. So we got... Blah, blah, blah. Cool, and we're going to call this Crystal Fist. Simple. Easy, easy. Skill. We lost our place here, but that's fine. I'll find it. Crystal Fist. And we'll go ahead and add that animation. The bottom here. Crystal Fist. Boom. There we go. We've got our ability. Okay, so now we can go to our enemy and award that uh, ability right over here on the Archon. So, our ability for Crystal Fist, which would be under enemy skills, right about here. Okay, and we're gonna say this is his basic attack, so we're gonna give him a rating of five. He's gonna do this most of the time. That's his new basic attack. So we just customize his, his basic attack, right? But it's now custom animation, custom name, custom formula, all that stuff. So let's go with another skill now. Now we're going to give him uh, like a ranged attack. It still could be physical damage, but we want to do like a damage over time. And for this, I'm thinking about using the new plugin, uh, the damage over time plugin from Yanfly Engine. Uh, so let's let's make a new skill called missile, uh, clear missile. And this is going to be like he shoots like one of the crystal pieces off of his body and launches it at you. We could even go with something like that. Why not? We could change it if it becomes a problem later on. Um, should this cost uh, TP to use? I think so, because we're going to keep it at a rating of 5, but have a requirement of TP on it. So it's going to cost 10 TP to use it. So his Crystal Fist will generate 10, and then when he uses, he'll, if he uses this, he'll be able to use that. But he won't be able to use this without any TP to begin with. Um, actually, let's make it 20, and we'll also make his Crystal Fist generate 15. There we go. So it won't be spammed. Even though it'll have a higher frequency, he won't be able to do it as much. So that's how we're going to control it. This will be a scope one enemy, occasion battle screen. This is going to be a physical attack, and we'll give it another animation in a second. We'll say uses type HP damage. We're going to say physical, but we want to add range damage as well. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 
16, 17 is our range, so we're going to go uh, multiple elements, 17, cool. If I go to, to my types, I can see them right here as well. So I can just say, um, jump in over here, I can see range is 17, so that's how, you don't always have to count them. Um, Alright, so we'll say yes, it can, critical, doesn't need a, a description, once again, we're not going to give it to uh, a player yet. Um, physical ranged attack, let's make it based on agility a little bit. Now, he has low agility, so um, that's a thing. But we'll have to give it some kind of crazy formula that factors in your agility versus the enemy's agility as well. So we're going to say a.atk uh, times 2 plus a dot uh, ma. It's not really a magic attack though, so we don't really need to use that. Let's just do uh, a dot agi for agility uh, times 2, times 3. right? And then we'll say subtract b dot agility. Um, yeah, just once. So that seems to be like a unique formula. It won't do as much damage as Crystal Fist, but uh, because his uh, I've given him more uh, attack power than agility, and it's, this is heavier on attack on agility. But what we can do is make this do something else. So not only will it do a lot of damage, it can ash actually start a damage over time effect. Um, so let's do that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to need a, another plugin for this. Uh, Yanfly's uh, extended DOTs or something plugin. Yeah, e EXT. This is by Tigris and Yanfly. And what we're going to do is just a custom code here. We're going to say uh, custom damage over time formula. And we're going to copy this and change it a little bit to see what we can come up with. Give it a custom formula, right? So we're going to say boom. Uh, this actually goes on a state. So it does not go on the skill. Let me cut that out. So we need to create a state. For when the clear missile hits, we need it to add a state. So we'll go to add state and find a free spot. We're going to skip 13 because I use that for temporary stuff. Um, and we'll just say, okay, right here on 83. So it's going to add state 83. Um, should it be every time? I feel like it should be 75% of the time. Uh, okay, so we'll make it strong because it won't always land. Um, let's go to our states and go to 83. There we go. And we paste that code right in there for the, the custom damage over time. What am I doing? Back, 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 back. And we're actually going to format this a little bit. Okay, cool. So if, boom, 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 boom. Else. Just so it looks nice. Cool. Now we are definitely going to change all of these, right? So we're not going to say if it's an actor, blah, blah, blah. We're going to get rid of that condition. Um, do we actually need a condition? We don't even need a condition. We're just going to have it when the, when the, when the state applies, do this, right? So get rid of the condition for this. Um, we don't need an else handler either because it's not going to check any of that. So we're basically just all we needed was three values. We need an element type, a variance, and a value. So here's what we'll put in our formula. So we're going to, uh, should we keep level? I mean, I kind of like that idea of it being factored off of the level. Level times 100. So if he's level 50, it's going to do like 5,000 damage. So let's not do that. Let's do off, off of stats here. A dot, um, it's an agility DOT, but once it lands, we're going to have it deal how much damage every tick and for how many turns. Let's say it'll last five turns if it lands, 75% of the time, and it already hits for about five minus one on our parameters. Uh, let's make it do three times our parameters. So we're going to say A dot ATK. Um, yeah, I believe how this works is if you're using A, it's going to reference the person who inflicted that state. I've never used this plugin yet, but I know it's uh, it's it's going to to work the way I want. I just have to figure out all the syntax. So we're going to say a dot atk plus a dot agi times two. There we go. Variance twenty, element 
We could keep it physical, but um, what other types could it be? Would this be a ranged type of DOT? I think so. Um, but once it lands, it could do something else. So we'll have it do radiant damage. Yeah, because we're going to have him based around light, I think. The Archon is going to be based around light and non-elemental damage. So actually, we'll have him do non-elemental damage. It makes more sense that way, so we'll set the element to, to 18. Whatever type you want to put, it's up to you. I'm just trying to make it work in my game. So I'm going to make this non-elemental damage over time uh, with a variance of 20 based off of the, the Inflictor's attack and agility times 2. And we'll call this one... Um, uh, so the the skill was called clear missile, and we'll call it um, for for when the state is applied and it's ticking damage. I'm thinking something like crystal mist, or uh, or or we could just keep it the same if we wanted to, and and put that same icon on the player uh, that says that it's like bleeding or whatever. Actually, this one down here looks a little bit better because it looks like it's moving or it has some motion to it. So we'll call this one uh, Clear clear Missile. And we'll remove it at the end of battle, but we'll make it five turn end. So it's going to do some damage for sure. That's why it requires TP to use as well. And it doesn't always stick. We could even add an SV animation if we wanted to. Um, so this is going to be, uh, uh, what is it called? State animation. And we give it a number. So when the player is inflicted with this state, it has, like, you know, an effect to it. So no, not that. Let's go with something like small. Okay, we're going to take this, we're going to get rid of all the sound effects, paste it there. Actually, all the sound effects and all of the, the flashes. Doesn't need any of that. We're going to call this one um, Clear Missile Effect, because this is going to be the state. We're going to change the icon, or yeah, the image to do something to look different. We're going to do this quickly, though. Find something that might work and just settle for it. Boom, that could work. Now change the water one as well. Boom. That's way too large. Let's go with something like that. Cool. So what I'm going to do is just basically uh, batch and change the size. We're going to change the scale on all this to like uh, 100. Perfect. Let's make it a little bit shorter. Let's get rid of... No, let's see. Yeah, like this. We'll delete that frame, that frame, that frame, that frame, because not much is happening, right? So it'll end up like this. And repeat. Cool. It looks small enough. It'll, it looks like it'll work. That's 537. We're going to hop over to our states, and we're going to say state animation 537. So now when the player is inflicted with this state, he's going to have that animation play on him and damage over time is going to happen. For the sake of testing it, I'm going to set it to 100%, but I'll probably switch it back down to 75 or 60% chance to land. Because um, it does damage itself as well. Like it does some decent damage and then it'll DOT if it lands. Cool. We've got two skills. Now we need to award that second skill to our enemy. So what I like to do here is right click, copy, and then paste. Because then it'll be right next to the, the skill we just created, if you didn't jump it around a little bit. Unless you uh, accidentally mess it up by... Oh man. A little bit of lag for some reason. Paste, edit. Probably got too many things in the database. So I click it once and I have to wait. And there it is. Okay. Uh, clear Mist will have the same rating, but it has a TP requirement. So it won't use it as often as Clear Fist will be used. Or Crystal Fist. Okay, cool. We got two abilities. Let's make two more. Let's make uh, an ability that just like hits everybody, right? Uh, a very nasty move. Physical uh, melee area of effect uh, with like a defense debuff. Ooh, like a combo. Evil, evil move. We'll give it a lower rating so it doesn't use it as often. 
um, and also make it require like MP or something for it. Actually, it would require TP. But because we're already using some something to make TP work that way, we'll do it MP. So Shatter Swipe was going to be a physical move that takes MP. I'm not really, I don't really like that idea. But it's not like the player's really going to know uh, that as well. So anyway, let's create another one. We're going to call it Shatter Swipe. And this is going to be like where he kind of gets like a vantage point and sweeps across the, the whole area. He's so large, he's able to hit everybody in one like fail swoop. Um, so we're going to give this an icon that would reflect like a wide attack. This looks perfect, like a big arcing attack. Shatter Swipe. This is going to be another enemy skill. This is going to be occasion battle screen. This is actually scope of all enemies. And this Shatter Swipe is going to cost <clears throat> 25 MP. Actually, that's nothing. Let's have it cost 50 MP. This number will have to be changed. I'm not sure how I'm going to handle this one. I might even make it a limited time. He can use it only once for battle or something like that. But anyway, for now, we're going to say uses. Because uh, it's basically a physical attack. So we'll say HP, damage, physical. But what else could it be? Um, blunt damage, I suppose. We're just going to keep it this one simple, a physical attack. Because I think that's all it really needs. Because it's hitting everybody. So we're going to say yes, it can critical. We're going to say A.ATK times 4. We're giving it a slightly less amount of damage, not 5. Because... Uh, it's going to hit everybody, so it needs to be a little bit weaker than like the other hits, right? Even three would be kind of devastating. Let's give it three and give it more of a, a debuff type effect. Um, so let's say we could quickly do add a debuff and reduce the... This is probably a simpler way to do it. Really, really simple. You don't even need to make a state. So it's going to hit everybody with ATK times three and add a defense down for five turns. Oh, excuse me. So that's going to be perfect. This is going to be a physical hit, uh, and we'll give an animate. Oh, we didn't make an animation for clear missile, did we? So we need an animation for clear missile and an animation for shatter, shatter swipe. Let's do it super quick. Um, I think we'll be able to do that. So what is this one? Boom, boom, cool, perfect. Copy, paste the pattern. We're, we're trying to do this on a on like a, a time frame. We're going to change the animation to something. There's a lot of good animations out there now. Some are worth paying for. Okay, so this one, boom. And then what about here? Did we, does that gonna, that only had, that pattern only had one image, right? So we have to settle for one image. Now I would like to make this kind of like a missile that goes across the screen, but that's gonna be an action sequence that takes me a while to do. So I can't do that on the fly, but I might change like the missile attacks so that they look more like they are missile attacks and not just impacts, you know? So we'll figure out uh, a way to do that. This is probably going to be like this blue color. It kind of looks awesome. Let's go with that. All right, that'll work for now. Let's change the sound effect a little bit to... Nope. That sounds cool. What about this one? Nope. Nope. That'll work. And then this one should be our impact sound effect. That might work. I don't like where this one's at. Let's change the frame to five and change this one to like three. That wind one is lasting too long. Let's go ahead and... Yeah! I like it. So this is going to be our uh, clear missile. Boom. Got it. Okay, and we'll go to our enemies. Nope, our skills. And go to the clear missile and assign that animation. Boom. Okay, now we need the animation for Shatter Swipe. This is going to a play on all enemies, so this is something we don't want to last a long time, right? So let's find something with like maybe 10 frames.
I actually like that a lot. Let's, uh, I th okay, let's paste that here. Let's change the, and the image. Oh, that looks pretty cool right there. That actually works better for a uh, missile, clear missile. I think it does. I mean, we'll have to change the sound effects, and I don't like the flashing. Um, let's just do that. Let's let's uh, switch it up. What the? And. No, it needs to be something impactful. That's probably too much, though. This one could be like that. This one's just overboard. No. It's missing something, isn't it? It needs to, like, on frame 7, like, some sort of boom uh, impact. Maybe that. I don't know. Something. Let's cut off the tail end of that. Let's get rid of 17. Let's get rid of 16, 15, 14. I don't know how that gun uh, sound effects. You know, you could be here a while trying to find something, but we're going to settle on something. Really soon. Okay, alright, I'm happy with that. We're going to use that for clear missile, probably. That looks better for clear missile. Clear missile. What was the other one called? Uh, shatter swipe. So this is perfect, actually, for shatter swipe. Because it's short, it'll play on all of them. Blah, 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 blah. Right, blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. So we've got new skills with custom animations. Cool, this is shatter swipe. Boom, and this one is going to be switched to Clear Missile. Awesome. Awesome. So, Shatter Swipe is also going to be... Oh, I said physical only, right? So, that's cool. Now, let's do one more. One more skill. Um, the, the, the Big Daddy ability. Oh, we have to award this one, right? Let's go here. Let's copy this. Paste this. Edit this. Wait a second. Wait a second. There it is. Okay, Shatter Swipe. Four. A four rating because we don't want it to happen as often as the other two and the next one we're going to do is going to have three rating because it's going to be like the magic attack even though um yeah 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 it's cool let's do that um so let's create another one a magic attack aoe uh just a strong attack no no effects nothing just a big powerhouse move to to show that it's it's got a, a challenge to it uh Crystal Storm. Crystal Storm. This will have more of a magical properties. So let's think of uh, what would that look like as far as the icon. Crystal Storm. I kind of like that. Like There's like little shards all over. Could be used for like a cure. But I also think it looks good as an offensive attack icon. Cool. Doesn't need a description. We're going to set this as an enemy skill. No, not magic. As an enemy skill. Thank you very much. Now this is going to cost... Uh, MP as well. This is going to cost 100 MP, um, and I might need to adjust how much MP I give the enemy. It's just a lot of testing when it comes to creating an enemy. Um, occasion, battle screen, scope, all enemies. This is a magic attack. Uh, animation, we're going to have to give it a custom animation. We're going to say cast. Uh, HP damage. This is going to be uh, radiant and non-elemental damage. So we've got radiant from the base and then non-elemental is 18 i believe 18 so let's go ahead and go back to our skills and do multiple elements 18 now i'm going to make sure i'm going to get in this tag right multiple elements multiple elements yeah that's right 
if I'm using it correctly. Okay. Can critical. It's very, very mean. Let's drop the variance down to 15%, just because I'm going to give it a, a big a, a value, right? So I want it to, to not go too high above this value. So um, we're going to say a.mat times 5 plus a dot... Um, what else could affect a crystal storm? Your magic attack power, right? That would be it. That's super strong right there. Five to all of them? A whole party? Uh, that's like... That's super powerful. That's that's really strong. Uh, okay, so... Of course, we're going to need to tweak the numbers to make it work, but... Let's give it an animation and award the skill. Let's find something... Kind of grandiose, I would imagine, like... That that takes a, like a long, long thing. Okay, um, this was an animation that I created that I don't want to use anymore. Um, it was actually a pattern from a different thing. Uh, so I, I was using it for Hotshot and I was like, nope, that's not it. I've made a better one for Hotshot. But what we're going to do is change the this to something else. Crystal Storm. This kind of looks like a bunch of little shards. Now let's change all the sound effects. We've got 35 frames. We're going to make this position center, right? It's going to hit this in the center, and then everyone's just going to take damage. Because it wouldn't make sense to have them all go through that animation. So that's the way we'll do it. Uh, edit this. We're going to kill the screen flashes. Actually, I don't want that slash effect. I want to kill that one as well. And that one. And then on that last frame, we need an impact sound. So we've got all of that, and then boom, right, boom, right there. On 23, what's playing? Okay, so 23 is good. Boom. On 33, we need, we need an impact sound effect, 33. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll add that, frame 33. Something like... Maybe not so it that not that impact like something kind of different impactful like yeah like that yeah cool we could actually add a flash on one okay boom let's go down the top and figure out where we can add a target flash right there. On 23, we're going to add a target flash. Not so intense. And then on 33, we're going to also add another target flash. Cool! This is... No, no, not Shatter Swipe. Uh, what did I call it? Crystal Storm. You know what? We could make this a Thunder Attack as well, because we're calling it Storm. Two, three, four. We'll, we'll make it have thunder as well. Why not, right? We can. Uh, let's award that animation to it. Crystal Storm. Hit apply. Um, this guy's set up to be around level 30, 40 or area, probably in my game. Your game, it'll be different. You'll change the stats so that formulas can stay the same. You could just change the stats and, and then uh, it'll affect you know the output so crystal storm we're gonna give this a rating of three um, cool now we have to look at the traits really quickly so we're gonna say he's going to attack with a physical element um, what else would he attack with um, probably he would attack with blunt uh, oh that's element rate let me cut that let's copy paste that um, he's going to attack with 
blunt damage. He'll attack with also piercing damage. So like whatever they're weaker to is what's going to hit. Boom. His, me his melee attacks are physical, piercing, blunt. Um, now what we can do is change his element rates. What is he strong against? What is he weak against? Well, he's made out of crystal. So I'm going to automatically give him a 10% extra damage from physical attacks. So he's already... Oh wait, that's a buff. Element rate. So he's going to take 10% more damage from physical attacks. Because remember, this is his defense stats, like his rates. Um, fire, nope. Ice, nope. Th he does use a lightning move, so we could say that he takes a little bit less damage from, from lightning move. Slightly, 10%. Not much of a difference, but it might make a difference later on when the numbers add up. Water, no. Earth, no. Wind, no. Radiant. He's probably not going to take much damage from Radiant because he's basically using Radiant. Uh, he's a Radiant-based creature type thing. Um, at least I set up one of his abilities that way, didn't I? Crystal Storm. Oh, yeah. Okay, Crystal Storm is Radiant. Right. Okay, so perfect. Back to the enemy. So let's look at another element rate. After Radiant, do we have Dark? Well, the opposite of Radiant is Dark, so I'm going to say he takes 50% extra damage from Dark Magic. So you kill Archons with Dark Magic in this game, I guess. Um, element rate... Venom, no difference. Healing, enhancing, but not really. Those are very situational, very rarely used do I use. This is all for like healing magic. And then these two are very special cases that I actually use these two elements. Slashing, piercing, blunt, range, those are used in a lot of things. So slashing damage on this guy, not going to work very well. We're going to say he takes 25% less damage from slashing. But he's made out of crystal, so he's, he could probably shatter. So we're going to give him a 25% extra damage from blunt damage. So if you hit him with like a maul or something, he's going to take more damage than if you try to slash at him with a sword. Makes sense to me. Okay, after that we have uh, piercing. You know what? Piercing's also going to be at 75%. It's just not going to take much damage, but blunt is what you want to damage him with. Uh, and let's see, ranged attack. Does it really need to be different? Actually, no. We're going to keep ranged exactly 100. We're not going to mess with that. Non-elemental, I usually don't mess with that rate on anybody. The same with summoning, because I want to keep like a standard, uh, but I do want to reference this as a special type, so that's why they're there. That's it. That's all the element rates. Debuff rate, blah, 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 all that other stuff. Is he going to be a boss? Not right now. Uh, so we don't need to give him all a bunch of state resistances. But we can say that, okay, this guy can't be poisoned. right? So we can go poison, uh, poison resist. So he just can't be poisoned because it just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, what else is he completely immune against? Um, could you make an Archon Berserk? Why not? Could you confuse an Archon? He's not a boss. Why not, right? Could you charm him? I don't see why not. Sleep? Probably. Can you paralyze him? I don't know. Maybe. I'm going to give him... I'm going to give him resistance to some of these, right? So let's give him uh, his rate to be confused is whatever it is times 70.75. So it's going to be 25% resistance to confusion, 25% resistance to like charm. He still can, it can still land, it just has a little bit of resistance. Uh, 25%. Did I say 75%? Because this means he's got a 25% resistance because we're affecting his state rate. Hopefully that makes sense. I hope I didn't confuse you guys. 75% means uh, that he's got a 25% uh, immunity or resistance to it, right? State rate. What else do we want to give him some resistance to? Fascination. Did I already set that up? So charm. Yeah, I did. So you, he's completely immune to poison. He's slightly resistant to confusion and fascination and paralyze but you can still land them i think that's probably pretty good i'll go through some of the states to see if there's anything crazy that i don't think that should happen to him uh the archon is fearless so we're gonna make him resist fear boom so he's immune to fear and poison but he's got slightly resistance against confusion fascination just charm and, and paralyzed, but the rest will land on him, DOTs will stick, and all of that stuff. So we need to test him out. We need to see if uh, I got the note tags right on that new extended DOT skill. 
Um, we also need to check the parameters uh, and, and see if he'll use these skills and in, in the, the frequency and if any skill seems too strong. A lot of testing. When you do something like this, you got to test them a lot. Before we do that, though, let's make an item. What could he possibly drop? Let's give him, let's give him a new item. Let's create a new trash item that will be used for like stuff you can sell. Um, those are cards. It's, where did I put all those? Got so many items now. No, 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 not those, not those. We're gonna just give him like you know, right here is fine. This is cool. Um, so we're gonna give him like a like crystalline dust or something, you know, for beating him. And we could figure out what it's worth and what it does and why you would need it and uh, later on. But for now, we're just going to have it there as a placeholder. Um, I'm looking for like a powder. I think Yanfly made one that looks pretty good for it. Yeah, we'll go ahead and go with like this. And we'll saw, we'll call this uh, Archon Dust. Why not? And this is just basically going to be placeholder description until we figure out what we were going to use it for right so we'll just say it's it's worth 750 coins it's, it's kind of kind of really good actually um, but we won't make it drop every time doesn't need anything it's no never use no scope regular item it's not consumable give it a price doesn't need anything it's just an item that's going to hold a value and we're going to end up selling that or we'll use it with a note tag later on to create a, a crafting recipe for something but um, that'll be the end game type stuff. But for now, let's go ahead and go back to our enemy and award that item. 50% of the time, he's going to drop. Actually, 33% of the time, he's going to drop one of those. One out of three. Because that's still 750 divided by three. You got like, what, 250. So that's huge. So he's dropping 300 something gold. Actually, we need to reduce that. Uh, in my game. So we'll just say 20% of the time he'll drop an item worth 750. Well, we can only sell for half price though. We'll say 25% of the time. Perfect. And we can keep adding more items and, uh, and lo uh, loop drops. Uh, oh my god, I can't speak. Fruit loops. Okay, let's do. <clears throat> let's copy this. Paste there. We're going to give him a minimum and a max level. He's going to be. Minimum level 40, maximum level 45. Seems to be about right in that range, maybe maybe higher. Uh, maybe this is a higher amount, but whatever. We'll, we'll tweak his numbers around. Uh, let's see, what else do I do? I use enemy drops to give him orbs, and I use stealing and appear animation. So we'll go ahead and, and put those note tags on him to make him match the rest of the enemies. Uh, we'll give him a different item to steal later on. Um, different orbs. We're not going to use dark orbs for this guy. We're going to use radiant orbs. Radiant orbs. Probably need to change the... Uh, I kind of want to reduce the number of items that I have. Just too many. I mean, do I need 12 tiers of different orbs? I just want to show you something real quick. Like, check this out. When we get to, like, orbs, right? I've got 12 tiers of a bunch of different types of orbs. That's too many. And they... It's, like, super overboard. Why do I do that constantly? Add more stuff than is necessary. I want to reduce that to, like, five or six tiers. Maybe I'll take away some of this stuff. I don't know. We'll figure it out later. It's, now I'm digressing. We need to finish this. We need to test out our enemy. Add him to the troops. Um, what number is he? Add this enemy to the Archon here. He's a 235 battle. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to go to the system and make sure that we are playing a character here. And we're going to make that character start at level 50. Let's see. This is our starting character. We'll just make him start at 50. So it should be hard. It should be. He should kill us at this level. He shouldn't be pushed over. Uh, and we're not going to use our cheat abilities, all of our skills that are action sequencing. Uh, what are we going to be playing as? The Thief, Paladin, Dark Knight. Dark Knight's not done. Beastmaster's some crazy ideas for that. Let's let's play as... Uh, let's play... Why not the Thief? Let's just play as the Thief. We've got low magic resistance, so if he does that storm move, we're probably going to die. 
Starting with an adamantium dagger, that's not that bad, like five star, and this is a one star armor. But basically, we should die. If, if we kill him, then he's too easy. He needs more HP or something. So let's fight him. Uh, this map is fine right here, whatever. We'll start the player here, we'll create a new event. And we're going to just create a battle right here. Input battle processing. Um, we want, was it 230 something? 238. 235. Can lose, can escape, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, give it some icons so we know it's there. Cool, that thing. Boom. Let's go ahead and jump into battle here. Might want to pause this. And here we go. Could have done a battle background, would have been better, but whatever. Um, so, we know battle music, so I guess this is fine. No battle background. Um, whatever, we're testing an enemy. I'm, I'm like picking things apart in debug mode. It makes no sense either. So, our basic attack, he's level 46, we're level 50, but he should kill us. Bam. Oh, I haven't declared all my variables because of the map we're on. Okay, that's why it'd be better. If I just do this on the world map, to be honest, because I've got everything set up there. Using variables and damage formulas, and they will always do zero if you don't initialize them. So I'm going to just do this on the world map uh, where I have everything set up. If I can remember where it's at. Balon world map. Where are you? There it is. Oh my god. Okay. Player, you start there. Event, you get pasted there. We will have a battle background. We will have battle music. Probably. And we will have our variables declared so we won't be doing for hitting for zero. Okay. Oh, I took the music out, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so let's check our dagger attack. He needs to be higher, right? That's the first thing I noticed. Because we're using a camera zoom, we need to do something to the troops. To fix that little issue, you just raise him up like that. See how I just dragged him up? Now when you see his HP bar go down, he will, uh, it will show that as well. So you can move the troop placement around to get... I also want to scale him. We'll put a note tag and scale him down a little bit. He's a little big for a non-boss. He's, he's a lot big for a non-boss. Um, crystal fist bam okay shatter swipe that will hit everybody we've got armor defense down now he's hitting way too weak we need to give him a lot more stats Let's try our thief abilities. If I were to try to steal, should get a potion, maybe. Courage berry. Okay, sneak attack. Oh, wait. We have to do hide, and then we have to attack him. And now he'll get a state on him. See that little dagger? Cool. And you look at that SV animation, or the, the state animation being played. Because we got the DOT on us. So that looks pretty good. That works out. No, we're not going to use those cheesy moves because they're too powerful. Uh, sneak attack now that he's... Oh, wait, no. That should have not... I messed that up. I, I messed that up. I should be using trick attack because he's got ambushed on him. And this should do damage. Yeah, a lot. 2,000. Makes sense. Crystal Fist. He's way too easy. It's way too easy. So we're going to give him a more attack power. More magic attack power. Basically, he just needs a little, uh, a little extra. He doesn't need more HP because that doesn't make your enemies harder. That just makes the fight go on longer. So let's go ahead and up this to 95. No, that's too much. 90, 75, 90, 75, 60, and 65. Boom. Actually, I'm going to award more. We're going to say 180 and 90. Now that uh, I'm awarding, uh, I'm giving him higher stats, I know that I need to reflect the balance. So I'm uh, awarding more experience and gold for it. But he should be a little bit harder now. 
with just a five star uh, dagger and no armor basically, we shouldn't be able to solo this guy. He should kill us. We'll hide, and then we'll attack, and then we'll trick attack. We missed it! No! Okay, so his stats are about right now. His formulas need to be increased. Because he's got slow agility. Right, right. He's just getting destroyed. Okay, so we're going to give him 1,100. Just a little bit more. We'll say 95. So we just need to change the... Those are about the same. We just need to change the formulas a little bit. So let's make uh, Crystal Storm go up to 6. Crystal Swipe do 4. Clear Missile do 3 and 4. And Crystal Fist will do 5. Attack. So that should be a little bit stronger. But basically, we would repeat this process until we get the enemy about the same... That's about the same level as the player. So that you, you, you're, you're like... Uh, you're not trying three enemies in a whole party. You're trying one of your characters while you're trying one of your enemies. And you're seeing how it plays out. Now this guy should kill me. Clear missile. And my basic attacks are enough. He's got low accuracy. I feel like his move shouldn't be that inaccurate. We also have a pretty powerful regen. Okay, so he's getting closer. It's getting closer. Um, I'm going to up the, the formulas again. So we're going to say defense times 2 for the Crystal Fist. Then this is going to be attack times 4 and agility times 4. And this is going to be attack times 5. And then Crystal Storm is going to be 8. It's just going to be super powerful. Because I still haven't seen him do it. Or maybe I did once. Boom. Boom. But that's basically going to do it for this episode because now we're just we're just testing it out now, right? So we've created a new enemy. We've given him new skills, new animations. Uh, we've created new states for him. Um, you know, picked some artwork, picked some names. And I think uh, it turned out pretty well. It turned out really good. We've got an a enemy, and I'm going to keep buffing him. I think I've given the player so many buffs that... Uh, and especially the thief's hard to hit. He's got crazy accuracy, critical hit chance, and evasion. Boom. He's still not quite strong enough, right? He's definitely got enough HP, though. The numbers just need to go up a little bit. We barely won that. Oh, and we died. He beat us. Now, think about it. We're going to have five party members, though. But that's also not a boss. It's just a regular enemy, a trash mob. So we don't want to give him more HP than that. Um, I'm just going to give him a little more attack power. Just a little bit. Enemy, we're going to say 105 attack power. Yep, and 105 magic attack power. And 85, 85, 70, 70. So a little buff. And I'll add some more uh, drop items to accommodate for the higher stats. But there you go. Look, we created a custom enemy. Um... Took a little while, right? You know, it took us, uh, you know, 45 minutes, an hour to to really put in a good enemy. But we've got a great enemy in here with custom skills, custom animations, its own traits, its own way to beat him. Uh, also, we were hitting him with piercing damage, right? So our thief would actually be doing 25%, 50% more if we had uh, like a club, 
right? So that's another thing to factor into. So you, you, if you use dark magic on him or you use a, a mace or a club or a staff or any blunt damage skill, you're going to do more damage to this guy. If you try to do slashing and piercing, you're going to do less damage to him. Uh, if you try to hit him with like holy spells, it's, you know, Devi or radiant, it's not going to do much damage. But yeah, that's really it for this video. I'm sorry it went on so long, but some of you like that. Some of you uh, prefer that. I know that I've, I've had both people say that in both ways. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see more, please smash that like button. It lets me know that you want this content, and it helps me gear, figure out what I, what I should be doing, you know. But yes, I definitely needed to add a new creature to my uh, to my game. I need to add more as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed creating the Archon with me. I would be awesome if uh, it would be awesome if I could see you guys put some of these enemies that we've created on these episodes in your game. I would totally think that's great, and uh, I would because I, I know even if you tried to copy it exactly, it would be different in your game. It would just work different in your game, and it, it should. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you uh, are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I've got RPG Maker Envy tutorials, Game Maker Studio 2 tutorials. I do QA beta testing for uh, feedback and support for projects. If you want me to play test your game, let me know by joining the Discord. Links in the description below. And send me a message with a link to your download, uh, and I will check it out when I can. I do have a list of games that I get to, so it may take a week, two weeks, three weeks, uh, as soon as I can get to it. Um, if your game is about to be released, there's higher priority on it, but trust me, I'm going to hammer you if you say you're about to release your game and if there's stuff broken, we're going to find that uh, broken stuff. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. I love you guys very much. Thank you for all your your you know your support over this, this year or so, and I got a new one yesterday. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, you guys are great. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.